the show with our series review of WandaVision. Ryan the Last Dragon premiered in theaters on Disney Plus, or excuse me, in theaters and on Disney Plus over the weekend. And the film follow, takes place in an ancient fantastical realm where a warrior princess is determined to find the world's last dragon. The film stars Kelly Marie Tran and Aquafina Darius. I think you had a lot to say about this one. What did you think? I absolutely love this movie. Just overall, I just thought this movie visually is just stunning. It is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. And even the characters and how they were interweaving multiple different characters into the same narrative was so refreshing because it's like you have so many different point of views. And I love one of the themes that this movie tackled, which was grief and how you almost tackle grief, really. And you see so many different people in this movie tackling grief in their own unique way. And there's a certain character where I was like, oh, yeah, he's definitely going to be one of the bad guys. But then something happens and you see what happens and it's just like, oh, man. And so just overall, this movie just it had a certain heartfelt message to it, both in two things. One about grief and how you handle grief. And the second me being unification of humanity and that's something mm. that we're gonna, probably going to touch on a bit later in this review but just overall i had a great uh i love this movie i loved every almost everything about it however i do think the beginning of the film could have been extended a bit longer just to give a bit more uh heart and even meatiness into what they were going for in the beginning because I just think if they made that a bit longer, it really could have had hit home even other things relating to Raya as her character and in her journey throughout this film. And again, I like how you have so many different, it almost felt like an animated Game of Thrones. And I kind of like that. That's an interesting way to put it. Um, yeah, honestly, I, I really like this movie overall, um, from a character perspective, whether you have like all these different personalities and backgrounds meshing with each other, all these dynamics that are flying off of each other, especially with Raya and the, um, one, I guess, other warrior from the other tribe that she has a rivalry with, what was her name? Like Numari or something. Numari, uh, that, yeah. I thought that was a great dynamic there. Um, uh, once again, I agree with you as far as like the visuals and the animations, absolutely stunning. You have that coupled just like with the imagination that came into building this world, too, that really makes this movie stand out and it pulls you in. Honestly, I think this is one of the best Disney films to come out in within the last couple of years, for sure. Um, there, are new, there are no musical moments in this movie, too. And that was, that's something I was wondering. It's like, oh, is there going to be like you know, any songs in this one? And no, there aren't. And that's fine. I feel like if there were musical numbers in this, that would have been that would not have fit at all. Yeah, for sure. I mean, ju just the tone wise of this movie, I don't think certain I mean, they could implement songs to try to almost elevate and lighten certain things, but I think that would take away from what really the core of this movie, especially uh, towards not only towards the end, but just overall with how they're presenting this world and all these different clans and factions and how they operate within this world. Yeah, and you know, just touching on the whole clans and factions, and the point that you made about unification of humanity, and like basically how the movie goes about dealing with like cultural intolerance and stuff like that, and like people making assumptions about each other. I love how the characters are basically used to teach, to teach, I guess, these lessons without really preaching these lessons, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. everything, like the way they go about this feels very natural, feels very organic, and like the more I think about it, it's like okay, these characters were definitely pawns and bringing that message across, but they didn't feel like pawns. Like, it's not something that was rammed down my throat that, you know, that it's not like there's a point in the movie where they say, like, oh, like, you know, this is what happens. Like, you know, we can unify or anything like that. Like, no, it felt very, mm -hmm. it just felt very tasteful in how they go about um, portraying that message. Absolutely. And, and the thing is, they touch upon that in the beginning and then they, t they touch upon it again in the end. And then you have so much conflict, even in the middle in that sec. I have, I have to say, honestly... One of my favorite parts of the movie was actually my favorite part was the ending. Then my second favorite part was just overall act two and just overall all the conflicts within all the characters, even the ones that you wouldn't think have a bunch of conflict. They have conflict and it actually negatively affects them. But um, you also have a character like Aquafina there who um, that just lightens things up a bit. And mm -hmm. I really I, I thought she was great in this movie, by the way. Yeah, voice performances um, from both of them were honestly terrific. And 
going back to Aquafina's character, she's another one that, like, yeah, she lightens things up at the same time. She still has a lot going on, too. She still has a lot of insecurities. She has a lot to prove. She has a lot of things that weigh her yeah. down. Absolutely. Like, again, I absolutely love this movie for not just the visuals, and but also, I also want to give another nod to this that I really appreciate are the fight sequences. Yes, These are absolutely. Amazing fight sequences, in my opinion, from mm-hmm. Disney animation. Um, they very feel at home martial uh they really dived into some of the martial arts aspect and just the fluidity and even the camera angles knowing that this is a 3d animated movie just the camera angles alone really felt like uh to a certain extent almost certain live action martial arts flicks and i really enjoyed that because it's like they're doing research and everything and i absolutely loved it Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, exactly. There's very, there's definitely very much a respect and attention to detail with the world that it's trying to portray, the, the I guess the cultures that it's trying to emulate as well. Um, also, this movie has does a great job balancing like much of the mature materials that it deals with as far as like death and like, I don't know if you would describe this as like, uh, like a plague or whatnot. And as far as like what takes out like a lot of characters and like what contributes to a lot of the kind of like a sentient plague. Yeah, it's uh, again. I don't want to give too many details because, like, you know, that is a spoiler. Of course, but with how it deals with that, and it manages to balance that out, like these really, I guess, pretty dark um, subject matters with uh, just a great sense of humor. Like this movie is also very, very funny throughout. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, like I said, and Aquafina definitely had uh, was definitely the comedic element for sure. But even Raya, to a certain extent. I didn't expect her to be that funny, honestly. I mm-hmm. really did not expect that. And so that kind of, it didn't take me out of it completely. No, not at all. If anything, I liked the character even more. And I kind of liked her um, her attitude towards certain things because it just shows that, like, it almost showed as if her toughness is kind of a mask of how she yep. really felt. And I really enjoyed that. Again, I absolutely love this movie. But now, Joe, I do want to ask you a question now. As much as we love this movie, do you think it's worth to do the Disney premiere? Pay thirty dollars to see this. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. There's almost nothing in my mind that'll be worth paying thirty bucks just for me to watch <laughs> something by myself. Uh, I will say, with the ticket, what I paid for to see it in the theater, and just the time that was spent, honestly, I do think that was worth it. Um, okay. Because honestly, this is one of the most, in my mind original Disney movies to come out in a while from just like the central character of Raya alone. Like she's, I never thought of this like while I was watching the movie, but she's essentially a Disney princess. Like I totally forgot yeah. about that. She's a Disney princess I about and that too. she feels, she feels very different from not, of not only just like the classic Disney princesses like Snow White and Sleeping Beauty, who basically did next to nothing, but even from Frozen too, who he feels very different from Elsa, you know, the emo girl from Arendelle. And I, I just felt like there was a, a lot more to just really admire and just be intrigued with when it came to Raya. I just felt like she had more going on um, to just really capture my interest in terms of like her background, in terms of just like her personality, why the way that she is, why she's determined to do the things that she's determined to do. Yeah, absolutely. Like they just, this, like, it's been a while since we had a really good, even original Disney IP. And I think Raya is a good step in that direction. And just overall, like I said, I could, I can't praise this movie even more. If you have the chance, definitely try and go watch this in the theater. If you can, Absolutely. of course, be safe. Um, But like I said, and we've both said this, this movie is great. And again, one of the messages I personally really love, and actually that made me cry in the theater was the unification of humanity. And mm. I don't want to go into too much about that because you just have to see that for yourself because it was great. Absolutely. 